Just very briefly, I'd like to thank everybody for, um, <clears throat> for a workshop that I found inspiring, encouraging, uh, motivating, challenging, and very practical and very focused. I suppose for me, it um, reinforced the fact that change of attitude, change of lifestyle, change of investment uh, is needed if we're serious about, about justice, environmental justice, about future generations. Uh, and also, I think it reinforced in me the, the, the fact that, that change is not only necessary, but that change is possible. I found our first speaker, Mark's reference to apartheid, I found that instructive, that there were many people at the beginning of the apartheid uh, movement who argue that change wasn't possible, that the structures were so firm that there was, uh, you know, very significant obstacles that change wasn't possible. And yet there were prophetic voices who said that change was indeed possible. And I think that should be a source of encouragement for everybody working for env um, environmental justice. And I suppose the second thing that impressed me about today was that it highlighted again the necessity of people uh, working together. Uh, I suppose, first of all, uh, at Intra, the, the three institutions sharing this campus, uh, MU, Trocra, and St. Patrick's College, the necessity to continue to reflect on climate change, on justice, and then to reflect in a way that leads to shared action. And then we'll say, uh, add extra then, I think it's, it's important that all of the voices gathered in this room continue to share with one another so that we can build up a, you know, a font of wisdom and a font of knowledge. So again, I'd like to thank um, each and every one of the contributors and I look forward to working with Trocra and with Manute University into the future. Thank you.